Hello mga katag, eto nga Pepperu, kasama mo ngayon at meron na naman tayong bagong artist na makakausap. Pero hindi na siya ganun kabaguhan sa Tag 91.1. We have here Jeremy G. How are you? Ayun, what is up mga katag? Thank you guys for having me and thank you so much for having me dito sa show mo. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alam mo, natutuwa ako kasi nga, parang kahit, hin- kahit first time pa lang, pa lang natin mag-uusap. Ano? Feeling ko, you're part of ano na, somewhat extended uh, tag family ka na. But you've been here in Dubai before, right? But you haven't visited the studio. No, I don't think I've been there in Dubai yet. But I, I, I'd, I'd love to go. I'd love to go. You'll never know. Malay mo, one of these days, you get to go here, di ba? So, i-push na natin yung mga fans mo na i-request ka, Char. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yes. And of course, now you have this song uh, it's going strong right now sinayang mo we're playing it here at tag 91.1 putting together this song diba sinayang mo when you were composing the song with sir rock santos and chefre jonathan manalo ba una una sa lahat parang what a great privilege to have that what was the main inspiration behind it ayan <laughs> na tayo <laughs> uh, i mean first of all it's just like what you said it's an honor to just work with those two so Jonathan Manalo so Rock Santos just to be with them in the studio is an honor but but the fact that they wrote co-wrote this with me yeah. uh, it, it meant a lot so having that in mind I also had to open up a little bit so siyempre may konting hugo din dito I, I won't get into the details para hindi tayo maging ano uh, love talk show or something. Kasi lang humugo tayo ng bongga ngayon araw. Pero yeah, you know, like at least we would understand your situation during that time when you wrote the song. Yeah, um I mean it's definitely a level up from my previous works which syempre mm-hmm. I released an EP titled Maybe Forever uh which uh, most of the songs there I wrote solely but but this time no man i wanted to take a more serious approach uh serious meaning both in music and sa kwento sa mm. kwento so mas naging genuine ako dito i feel sa sa song sa, sa next project ko and hopefully uh people can see it listeners can hear it uh whenever they listen to my upcoming song so Ayun, uh, I'm just glad that people uh, like listening to it and uh, hopefully like dancing to it as well. Nice. And speaking of dancing, that's actually one of the questions <laughs> I have for you. This is a breakup song, diba? Sabi mo kanina, you didn't want to dive in too much uh, about being vulnerable during that state of your your state during that time when you created this song. Pero, konti lang. Hapiyawan lang natin, di ba? Kasi it's, it's a love song. It's a breakup song. It's supposed to be mm-hmm. an aray ang sakit kind of song. But you didn't make it into a sappy love song na mellow. You know, you made it upbeat. You wanted to dance to a breakup song. <laughs> so, what inspired you with that? Bakit biglang upbeat mo naisip or ninyo naisip na gawin itong song na sinayang mo? That's, that's a good question. Kasi, uh, like what I said kanina, I wanted to take my music to the next level, uh, yeah. uh, which also includes not going with the flow or with the trends na people are seeing in music. One of the ways I thought of doing it was in this na typ- uh, typical hugot song na slow, may iyak ka. Itong song na to ay kahit nang hiwalay kayo, parang Alam mo naman yung self-worth mo. You know how whatever that worth is, they wasted all of it. So para maging uh, self-love muna. And it, it, it's a different perspective definitely of what people are used to. Um, but I just wanted to show it from this point of view naman that you still can be uh, happy and uh, proud after a relationship. Siyempre, after after the sulking stage, you get to realize and step back and say, you know what? They... Maybe they just wasted my time. Hindi nila alam kung ano yung meron nila dati. Yeah, true. And I don't know if you've noticed, no? But recently, itong mga pop songs right now that are breakup songs, it's more of like nagiging theme na rin talaga yung parang breakup anthem na yeah. it's not like a sad song. Parang your loss. Alam mo yun? Parang yeah. ito ako, ganun. Let's focus on self-love. I don't know. Pero parang yun din yun din. And swak na swak yung song mo because it... Uh, Parang sabay-sabay ba kayong na heartbroken? Ano ba? <laughs> Ayun ako, hindi ko alam. Hindi ko sure. But, <laughs> but it's, it's it's definitely a coincidence, no? Uh, yeah. 
Actually, ngayon ko lang din na realize eh, pero that, that's that's cool that that it it happened at such a at around the same time, I think. <laughs> With that, no, we're talking about Sinayang Mo, Jeremy G. This is more of a, a song that came from the heart sa'yo. Gusto ko lang din malaman, as Jeremy G, ano ba yung experience or bagay in your life na feeling mong ikaw ang uh, nakasayang? Uh, um, or nasayangan ka? I, I think there's there's one, th- I, I mean, I don't, I don't regret it, pero when I think back on it, it, it it's like, oo nga, may opportunity din. But, I was super into playing basketball. As in, uh, back in the states, I I I was playing. I was varsity for three years and stuff. And bukod uh sa team ko sa high school, I also played travel as well. As in, we we play in different cities, different states. Naging super serious ako at to the point where I was considering to come to the Philippines to play basketball. Though there was there was definitely another plan. Uh, that. That came up, which was simply the voice, the voice teens, and I'm I'm glad that I went through that experience. But when I think back, uh, and I look back at that basketball experience, I'm like, you know what? What what if, what if I was a basketball player instead of a songwriter? You know. I I like what you said that you don't regret it, but sometimes there are those what if moments yeah. that you have in life. But uh, I didn't know about that. No basketball. Well, you'll never know. You could still <laughs> probably play if you're good, you know, and you just need to practice more. <laughs> but I guess you'd have to find time. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of time. Exactly. Thank you for sharing that. And now, since I have you here, you're going Ooh. to be rating your own song, Sinayang Mo. You know, ah. Jeremy G's rating to Sinayang Mo 10 being the highest. Ooh. Um... Dang, that's actually a hard question because I don't want to toot my own horn, but I also <laughs> don't want to like. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'll give you time. I think, I think I'd give it like a solid eight point five nine to, to compared to the stuff that I've eight point five to like nine. Yeah. To nine, okay. Uh, compared to the stuff that I released prior, but if if we're looking at into a all all of my songs that I've written, like I I simply I don't want to say ten nagad because I can expect the mga tao sa mga susunod ko song. <laughs> That's all, so I'll I'll give myself that little leeway to for people to to want more. So yeah, eight point five or a nine, and that little space for improvement probably as well. There diba? you go. Yeah. Uh, something that was. Taken into consideration. Well, I don't judge. Uh, something that was taken into consideration for this rating was how I feel whenever I perform it. Mm. And just just singing and dancing this song in front of a crowd, it it's it's different energy than when I perform and sing my other songs. So definitely that's that's part of why it, it got that rating. I guess no, as an artist, if you always perform the same songs again and again. You yeah. would also probably get tired of these songs. But with that feeling na you're always excited and happy to sing this song and in front of people, then I guess that's one added factor to you na it really is such a good song then. <laughs> okay, 8.5 to 9. We accept the rating for Sinayang Mo by Jeremy. <laughs> And ito, last question la lang din from me. Alongside this uh, new side that you've shown us with Sinayang Mo, what else can we expect from Jeremy G? Ano pa ba yung different sides ni Jeremy G that, are, that we're gonna see in the future? So we'll start off with the different sides of me. Kasi syempre, bukod sa singing and songwriting, uh, I'm also a host. Uh, for for a show on Pi uh, called Pak na Pak Palong Palo. So if you guys want to watch that, you guys also can. It's on YouTube and everything on Pi channel and stuff. And um, yeah, I think me as a host, yeah, me as a host is is very different than than what you guys see on stage in terms of mas makulit ako, uh, mas mas baliw ako dun, uh, kung ano ano siya sabi ko dun. Um, but you guys will definitely see a different side of me. And then in terms of music, naman, um, 
definitely more songs like Sinayang Mo. If if not the same type of emotion, but maybe different types of emotions that you can groove to, you can dance to, and and most importantly, uh, relate to. So definitely you guys can expect more of that from me. And hopefully I can write from more artists and not just write, but even produce uh, from more artists because that's something I definitely want to achieve during my career. Awesome. Thank you so much. You want if there's anything you want to share with your fans, please do so. Ayan mga katag, maraming maraming salamat for uh watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed. I can't thank you enough for all your support. Mga Germanians ko, maraming maraming salamat. And you guys can expect new music from me. I'm considering the post a couple teasers before the release. So just follow me on my social medias at I am Jeremy G across all social media platforms and the um Pi channel. Uh, every day na po yun, Monday through Friday and the uh, I Want ASAP ASAP natin to and uh, The Voice Kids Season 5 malapit na po yun I'm also gonna be an online host there so you guys can catch me there as well thank you so much Tag 91.1 Pinoy talaga